All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and start out by opening up live. Once we're in live, uh, we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to go ahead and set up an audio output so that way audio capture. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and pull up Glorious Day, which is the song that I'm going to bring in. It's the one we just did. So Glorious Day, we're going to pull it up, make sure, okay, we have master tempo, we have everything that we need. Uh, we have all the outputs properly set, so that's good. This song is done, it's set up, and it's ready to be imported into another one. So we have all of our tracks, we have intros, all the stuff, tempo, choruses, everything. So after that, we are going to go ahead and open up a new file. So we're going to open up... Reckless Love, because maybe we want to do a Reckless Love in this one back to back. So the first thing I'm going to do is anything that's expanded, I'm going to shrink it down. So that way we can see what's underneath it. And here's the area. It says drop files and devices here. Now I know for sure that this is in my stems folder. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and type Glorious Day. And then I know that this is the one I want to use because it's the one with automation. ALS file. So I drag it into this area here that says drop files and devices here. Now you see over here, this is all jacked up right now because it has, you know, chorus, bridge, verse, all that crap away hanging out and going crazy. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a new box around the whole thing, um, all the way around, all the way to the beginning. And then we're going to check and make sure everything's in that box. And then we're going to drag all of these tracks out from behind this. Just make sure they're clear. Now, in theory, there we go. What should happen is everything should go back to the original timing. And if you look here, all of the tracks are still in the same spot. So the only trick to this is you're going to have, um, this one was a multi-tracks file, so it doesn't have my speed thing set up in here. Um, so what you're going to want to do is make sure that if you do overlap two songs, you make sure that you have the master tempo of the new song not the old song over the whole thing. So that way you could be sure um, that when you do this, that the new song's tempo stays true. All right, that should do it.